everyone. Myself, Brozen Boisso, lecturer of chemistry from pattern classes. I have done my graduation from IIT Guwahati. Uh, today, we'll discuss the topic coordination compound from class 12 chemistry. I have picked this topic because most of the students get confused with it, but the topic is really very really important. Uh, as we can see, the previous year NEET 2019 chemistry paper. There are four questions which carry 16 mark with a weightage of 8.89 percentage. In coordination compound, there are few important topics from which question arises. Number one, nomenclature of the organic compound. Number two, hybridization and the shape. Number three, CFSE that is crystal field splitting energy. So in today's class, we'll try to learn the nomenclature of the coordination compound. IUPAC has fixed some rule for it. Let's try to have a look. This is a coordination compound. So when coordination compound form, when we mix two simple salt and then evaporated, then it become addition compound. And the addition compound, when mixed with aqua solution, then we found some complex ions which do not dissociate into ions further and those ions are known as coordination compound so guys this is a compound fine if you see the bracket the whole thing the whole thing is known as coordination sphere and the potassium this is ionic sphere this is chromium this is central metal atom and chlorine that is ligand so this is a new term now we'll try to find out what is ligand so basically ligand are the electron pair donating atom molecule or it could be ion which form coordinate bond with the compound fine now there are some types of ligand uh, number one that is negative ligand so in negative ligand if we see if you have a close look if you see the cl negative this is known as chloro or chlorido in ncrt also we'll use the chlorido similarly br negative bromo or bromido o2 negative that is oxo o2 negative that is super oxo kindly monitor this is o2 it's a molecule and only one negative surge like that we have lots of ions as we can see this is N3 negative, this is Az2, N3, there are three nitrogen, then only one negative surge. Then see, this is more confusing. N3 negative, only one nitrogen atom and three negative surge, that is nitrido. Like that, we have lots of negative ligand. Now, uh, there's one more important point. The oxidation state of this ligand is nothing but the surge and we need this for the nomenclature similarly number two this is neutral or positive ligand this is neutral ligand because they have oxidation state is zero this is c5 h5 and commonly known as pyridine see if you know the name is the ligand as pyridine and this is p ph3 that is triphenyl phosphine like that we have lots of things like nh2 ch2 ch2 nh2 this is en ethylene diamine commonly known as ethane 1 comma 2 diamine why because see we have two amine group nh2 nh2 it's amine diamine ch2 ch2 it's ethylene like that we have lots of things then again nh2 to co this is commonly known as urea so they are all the neutral ligand because they have the oxidation state is zero and there are some positive ligand also positive ligand also see this is the symbol nh2 nh3 plus this is hydrazonium this is no2 plus this is nitronium no plus this is nitrosonium fine in iupc nomenclature we have varieties of codeine compound number one the nomenclature of complex cation so why it is cation because the minus 3 surge developed by the chlorine atom is being neutralized or the plus 3 surge is over the coordination sphere that is chromium so basically this is known as cation complex cation similarly see the bromine 
the minus 3 surge is being neutralized by the coordination sphere. So there is a positive surge over the sphere. So these things are known as complex cation. Now see, look at the second variety. This is complex anion. Why? The plus 4 surge is being neutralized or develop the negative surge over the coordination sphere. So this compound are known as anion. Uh, let's have a look at the nomenclature of complex cation. We are confirmed because of Cl3 it is a complex cation. Fine. The first step we have to identify the oxidation state. Right? So how to find out? See oxidation state this is chromium. So chromium is going to lose the electron and let it be X for chromium because we don't, don't know and we want to find it x plus this is zero why it is zero zero for amine now how i find it see look at this this is amine right this is amine and this is a neutral ligand and the oxidation state is zero so i put zero here plus another zero why because of aqua see this is aqua commonly known as water oxidation state is zero fine and plus minus three this minus three is being developed because of cl3 is equal to zero because there is no surge on the coordination sphere we found x equal to three so the oxidation state is plus 3. Now let's have a look at the nomenclature again. So this is amine. This is aqua. Amine and aqua. So we'll follow the alphabetical order if we have more than one ligand. As we can see A double M. And this is AQ. So amine will come first. So see amine take the first position why because of the alphabetical order aqua this is the second and the third position by the central metal atom itself and the fourth position is the oxidation state and the fifth and last by the chlorine so let's figure out the norm see guys this is nh3 3 means we have tri tri means 3 triamine 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 without a gap without a single gap we have to write triaqua see triaqua triaqua then third chromium fourth the oxidation state is three and last it's chlorine we cannot write trichlorine okay because we have already taken the oxidation state or it's chlorine fine now this is a chromium because it is a complex cation and the central metal atom that remains same fine so uh, i have given few examples which solve examples and i'll try to give all the detailed note at the end of the video fine now the second one So guys, uh, this is a nomenclature of complex anion. It is confirmed that this is an anion, right? Because of the potassium. See, first the oxidation state, how? 4 potassium atom, this is plus 4. Iron is going to lose the electron, that is X. Plus Cn, it's cyanide or cyano. And the oxidation state is minus 1. See, have a look at this cyano oxidation state is the surge itself it's minus one right so i have put minus one but how many there are six minus one into six is equal to zero no surge on the complex sphere implies x equal to two fine now in complex anion we'll write the first position as potassium see potassium doesn't matter how many simply we'll write the name of the element potassium 
hexacyano see hexa it's come from six cyano that's the name of the ligand itself and ferret and the last one is the oxidation state that is two so guys there's a confusion now why it is ferret as we know as iron see the rule this is a rule when the central metal atom added with the suffix it that means if it is chromium then chromate because it's a complex anion so for complex anion we'll add it as a suffix right for iron it's a historical uh, nomenclature it's ferret copper it is cuprate right so i have put ferret similarly see if you look at the second one this is na2 nicl4 oxidation state see plus 2 this is plus 2 right for the sodium plus x for the nickel minus 1 for the chlorine why it is minus 1 as you can see the chlorine has a minus 1 oxidation state right so it is minus 1 into 4 4 equal to 0 x equal to 2 the oxidation state is 2 so how to write first we'll write the sodium then there's a 4 for tetra tetra chloro tetra chloro this is nickel but we'll write nickel lead 2 why it is 8 because it is a complex anion so for all the given nomenclature which belongs to the complex anion category we have to add suffix ate fine so just one more step so guys don't get confused with the complex cation and anion see in cation right in cation it's remains same it's remains same it's right chromium right see look at this chromium this is platinum right see look at this it's platinum fine but in case of anion it is ferret it is nickelate right like that uh, we found a little bit tougher one uh, belong to the category of complex anion right see just have a look there are four iron there is another iron atom inside the coordination sphere so how to find out the oxidation state so it's a bit tricky one and we'll use the crisscross method right how see so there are two iron and we'll find two different oxidation state fine so this iron we have a crisscross method of three so the inner complex has the minus three oxidation state see so x minus three equal to zero x will be three so basically this iron atom has a plus three oxidation state because of the inner complex right for the second one see if you look at the second one or the oxidation state for the ionic sphere there are four right four see how to find out x x is for the iron this is x cn we already know that's minus one the oxidation state so minus six is equal to minus four why it is minus four by the crisscross method because of this four so find out x equal to two now how to write the name see first we'll write the iron doesn't matter how many iron we'll simply write iron three three is the oxidation state right three is the oxidation state hexa cyano hexa cyano or you can write cyanido it's up to you ncid has used both cyanido or cyano ferret see ferret we already know because it's a complex anion we have to use the it two two is the oxidation state of the second iron atom see second iron atom it's two the another one uh, this is another tricky one we have two coordination spheres. See, look at this. Platinum is being coordinated with pyridinium and the chlorine. So, how to find out? See, first oxidation state always X for the platinum. For the platinum, it is X plus zero because pyridin has a zero oxidation state. It's a neutral ligand. Uh, from the previous note, we can easily find it out. Uh, see, look at this. It's pyridin, the first one. It's a neutral oxidation state period in red zero plus x minus four equal to zero x is equal to two. So how to write? There are four pyridine atom. So tetrapyridine, tetrapyridine 
it's platinum two two is the oxidation state then another tetrachloro platinate but this is platinate why because simple convention it's being considered as the positive is being considered as the negative for negative you always use it for positive it's the same as it is so like that we have another two fine we have another nomenclature of complex cation so this is a typical one nh2 ch2 ch2 nh2 this is commonly known as ethylene diamine and the oxidation state the oxidation state is zero as we can see see it's a neutral ligand ethylene diamine en ethylene diamine oxidation state is zero so see x is for the platinum zero is for the whole ethylene diamine and cl2 it is minus 2 again minus 2 for cl2 equal to 0 x equal to 4 so see there's a typical one we have used the bis now why it is bis see ethylene diamine nh2 ch2 ch2 nh2 there are two lone pair so there are two electron pair which can give the central metal atom right so it is a bidentate ligand the denticity is two so we'll use bis look at this dichloro dichloro is for the dichloro alphabetical one then we use bis we cannot use di see we cannot use di we use the di for chlorine because only one pair of electron chlorine give only one pair of electron but ethylene diamine give two pair of electron to the central atom so we'll use bis ethylene diamine platinum for the platinum 4 4 is the oxidation state and this is the chlorine chlorine similarly the fourth one we have used three cc look at this the three so trees trees ethylene diamine cobalt this is the oxidation state sulfate fine this hydroxide is connected with the two chromium so it is a bridging ligand so typical nomenclature see because of the bridging ligand we'll use mu so mu hydroxo that's bis pentaamine chromium see this amine and this amine there are two pair of denticity right that's why we use the bis three chloride three is the oxidation state see how to find out the oxidation state zero is for the nh3 x for the chromium minus one for the hydroxo x for the chromium zero for the amine and minus five for the particular chlorine equal to zero x is equal to three fine the another one so we have two bridging ligand here one is amido and one is hydroxo so how to write it's again alphabetical so mu amido mu amido then mu hydroxo octa amine dicobalt see there are four amine four amine so octa amine cobalt is two so dicobalt three is the oxidation state and because of four plus we use iron fine so what is the oxidation state how for amine it is zero it's a neutral ligand x for the cobalt amido it is minus one hydroxo it is minus one x for the cobalt zero for amido and the plus four is for here x equal to three fine so we are ending up the video here we'll meet you guys soon at the next topic and thank you very much for your valuable time and special thanks to the person behind the